Hi, my name is Samantha Boss, and I'm with the University of Texas at Austin. And I'm here with Project STARE today to talk about inequalities. So before teaching inequalities, it is important to note that students need to have a firm understanding of the equal sign. It is best to teach the equal sign as a balance and to think of both sides of the equation as equivalent. Initially, students think of the equal sign as operational, meaning they have to do something. As they mature, students begin to develop a relational computational view in which they understand the equal sign as a relation between two answers, but the only way to determine if the two sides are equal is by solving via computation. Finally, students develop a relational structural, structural view in which they can use the relationship between the two sides of the equal sign without needing to actually solve via computation. And we're going to talk about that more today. Number lines are a great tool to help students visualize inequalities. Here, I'm going to start by drawing a number line that continues forever in both directions. So I'll start here. Sorry, it's a little squeaky. And I show it continues on and on both directions. And I'm going to represent this equation here, n equals negative 2 to ground students. So I'll start by showing where 0 is. I might start by showing some positive numbers. And then I'm going to show negative 2 right there. I can then expand students' understandings by showing the equation n is greater than negative 2. So I'm going to use the same number line, but I'm going to remove my uh, dot right there. And now I want to show students that n is going to be anything greater than negative 2. I'm going to start there, and I'm really going to try and shade in my arrow going that way. So hopefully, sometimes you can use another color that might be helpful. Um, but it's also important to note here that I used an open circle because the number has to be greater than negative 2. Therefore, it cannot include negative 2. If I wanted to represent n is greater or equal to negative 2, I would want to make sure that I denote that here. Let me draw a little line as n is greater than or equal to negative 2. And then I can shade in my dot to show that it can be negative 2. Um, so it's really important to have students practice drawing and representing both inequalities as well as um, using uh, equations with the equal sign. I'm going to go ahead and erase this, and then we're going to talk about some more activities we can do. As with many math topics, it is helpful to provide word problems or contextual problems that help students understand when they will use inequalities in real life. Money can be a great way to explain inequalities. For example, I can contextualize this equation right over here. 100 is greater than or equal to 4x by explaining that I have $100 and four friends. I want to buy each friend the same present, and I only have the $100 to spend. I can spend less than $100 and still have money left over for me, but I cannot spend more than $100. Additionally, it is great to ask students to create their own context problems and examples that would help them understand when they would use inequalities in real life. This is an example from a Van de Waal book, um, and we will share the reference down in the video. But using the tilt and balance activity can be helpful for students to understand inequalities. So first, start by having the students stand up and put their arms out, imagining both sides of their arms are one half of the scale. Ask students to pretend they are given weighted objects, for example, an apple or an orange, one at a time to hold in each hand. Have them move their arms up and down to demonstrate adding weights, balancing weights between both sides. The next step is to turn this into a written activity. Students are provided with equations written out on a balance beam and have to decide if the balance will tilt to one side or balance out. Initially, the equations can all be written with equal signs and students can decide if they are true or false. 
With practice, the symbol can be removed and students can then add an appropriate greater than, less than, or equal to sign to make the statement true. The same graphic can also be used to, uh, for solving with equations. And then later on, you can expand to include variables and make this more challenging for students. Thanks for watching this stair tailored video on inequalities. Be sure to subscribe and check out our YouTube channel for more great videos. Thanks, and I hope to see you soon.